working so hard. I'm exhausted. Catherine, I can read here that the population gets fatter and fatter. Why is that? Actually, now they say that two thirds of the population are overweight. People make the mistake and think that they need to go on low calorie starvation diets, go out, do loads of like an hour or loads of aerobics or run the roads, and that's going to get them in shape. Okay. But actually, if you look at scientifically what happens when people do that mm -hmm. is that they tend to lose muscle. And as you know, that like every pound of muscle on your body burns calories, like nearly 50 to 100 calories a day. So when they go back to eating and they've lost all this muscle, so they're now a less efficient furnace. Um, I, I came into a Jico gym last November, started as a client. Uh, I was 16 stone, so two, 220 pounds plus. And uh, within seven months, that was last November, I'm now down to 11 and a half. Oh stone. my God. So I lost wow. so much weight and about five months in, I, I also got offered a job here. So I've, I've come a long way and I'm much happier as a person and more energetic. And you know, so not only has I, have I lost the weight on the body, I've lost the weight on the mind. So Kian, what was different between your program here and in any other gyms that you've done before? Because it works, because it's, it's not the usual, you know, low calorie diet and okay. hours of aerobics, it's 20 minute workouts. Every time I hear about Educo Gym, I hear about the time machine, you know, time machine there and time machine all the time. So what is the time machine exactly, Kian? Uh, the time machine is this machine here. Okay. And um, we call it the time machine for two reasons. One, because you come in, you do your workouts, it's so quick, the equipment is set up, there's no messing around, there's no setting up equipment. The workout is done in 20 minutes, but we also call it the time machine because of the rejuvenating possibilities okay. of the machine and how you know it kind of transforms the muscle clock and puts it back and sets everything. All right, how old are you, Kian, if I may ask? 24. 24, he looks 18, so the time machine definitely works. <laughs> I so Guido, I gave you styling advice to dress to your body shape, but it's not enough. You want to lose weight. What's yeah. your story? Actually, my story is I came over to Ireland three and a half years ago okay. and I was on 78, 80 kilos mm -hmm. of weight and due to the changes of, of my alimentation, I've gained 40 kilos in three years. 40 kilos. And I'm not feeling well myself, so I want to do something to get back to the old way I was when I came over here to Ireland. So, Catherine, I know you had your consultation with Bido? Yeah, it's great. We're really ready for action now and we went through how he needs to go on to the natural diet and how we're going to come in and exercise for the 20 minutes a day and we're ready. Great, so Guido, how do you feel? No, happy, very happy. Very happy? I'm looking forward to start up on Monday, so... Yeah, he, he seems really, he seems Monday. motivated now. <laughs> You're clear on what am, you need I to am, do. I am Stay tuned, we will see Guido again in the next episode and see how he's getting on. And as you can see, I'm still working very, very hard. Ireland really is a gold mine as far as craft is concerned. And 2011 is declared to be the year of craft in Ireland. Hundreds of events are organized throughout the country. You are what you wear, has decided to be part of the event and organize its own treasure hunt. So here I am in the National College of Ireland in Dublin for Designer Dublin Initiative organized by Dublin City Enterprise Board. Our treasure hunt starts here. Follow me to get your first clues. Hi Claire. Hi Cynthia, how are you? I'm very well. Good, good, you're looking gorgeous, gorgeous, very accessorised, fabulous. I was about to say the exact same thing. Thank you, thank you. So Claire, you are known as the top fashion stylist and top accessorising guru. So tell us, why is it so important to accessorize? Well, it's important to accessorize because you can take the cheapest dress and you can make it look expensive and bespoke. And it's individual. When you, you know, accessorize something, it looks just for you. It's not like everyone else is going to wear it. So you want something a little bit individual. In this day and age, there's so many high street stores. Everyone looks the same. And you're looking so individual. You know how to accessorize, let me tell you. <laughs> so that's why I think it's so important. So Claire, what are the do's and don'ts of accessorizing? Well, I don't like rules. 
So there oh, are no okay. do's and don'ts with assessorising as All far right. as I'm concerned. <laughs> I think to be individual is the first rule. To express yourself, look at Lady Gaga, she wears everything and she looks fabulous. So Absolutely. to express yourself and also I think to be comfortable, I think you have to be true to your own style. Okay, so no rules. Rules and no rules. So yeah, just, just go break and do rules. it. Break all the rules. Don't break. <laughs> just look good, okay? Just make an effort. That's all I ask. Make an effort. Tell us, what is your favourite? But if I'm going out, I like blingy earrings. I like something long, dangly, with a bit of bling. Bit of bling. Preferably real bling, okay? But if not, the fake bling will do just fine. So Claire, nice talk. Now you're going to have to show us how you accessorize. Now I have to do it, right? You have to do okay. it. Okay, come on. This is my model, Catherine. And as you can see, she's just wearing a very plain black dress. Very structured. Everyone should have a little black dress in their wardrobe. Okay. Very important, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... These are beautiful beads are by Melissa Curry, who's showing all her stuff here tonight. And what I like to do with beads, I like to layer them. I like that very Chanel look. I'm going to pull some of these beads back. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for totally different looks. So she has like this kind of totally different vibe. So you could be out for a night. You could start off with it one way with your hair down for dinner. And then we can turn oh, around and we have brilliant. a separate look for the club. So we're here with Jennifer Rothwell. So hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. It was a great talk you did there inside. Lots of information, very exciting. So can you tell us a bit about yourself, Jennifer? Yes, I'm a fashion designer. Um, I'm also a fashion consultant and a peer, peer mentor for the Craft Council of Ireland. I own my, my own brand, Jennifer Rothwell, um, and I'm going to be involved in a really exciting collaboration with other designers and we're going to open a new shop on South William Street. Plus I'm going to be teaching uh, manufacturing uh, courses there too, so it's quite exciting. And so you've got experience here yeah. in Ireland and overseas, so you yeah. started your career in, uh, in the US, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. It was good, but it was tough. But um, after a few years, when you have your experience, then you get better opportunities and you get more money. And you know, that's why it's worth it. And then I came back in 05. Um, it's tough with the recession now at the moment. And that's why the collaboration that we're doing with other designers is really great. And I want to put it out there to the public to support Irish designers, because we really need the help now. If somebody buys something from me, they're, you know, they're also supporting a local team of manufacturers, okay. like a cutter and a seamstress. And you know, if I pay them, they'll go away for a weekend in Ireland and spend a bit of money. And that's the only thing that will keep us out of this recession. We have to start supporting each other. Okay, that's a very strong message actually. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give Jennifer to somebody who wants to get their own business, you know, create their own business and start out there in the fashion industry? Well, I think they should um, work for somebody else first. You know, like don't just come out of college and just start your own line. Go and work for a company and learn from their mistakes. And that was Jennifer Rothwell, top Irish fashion designer. Where is Cousin Studio? Where the hell is Cousin Studio? I'm supposed to be here. Oh, Cousin Studio is there. Oh, here they are. I found them. So we started our treasure hunt in the National College of Ireland and now we're going to see what beauty they have for us in Coastline Studio. Follow me. Bienvenue, we found us. Hey! <laughs> now, loads of treasures here. Oh, I absolutely adore this one. Beautiful. How do I look? It's okay. It's good, yeah, with my big head. <laughs> I designed and make hats. Uh, okay. My late father started a hat factory in Malahide in 1960. Okay. So we, we go back a long time. What would be your favorite hat or what is the, the, your best seller? Probably the most popular and um, getting out of press is this new leopard print trilby. Okay. Very, very fashionable, very cute. What do you do for men? I'm trying to persuade Irish men to go away from black. If you tend to like navy or even black, you can wear this wool mix here, nice. which is a blue and grey mix. It gives a denim effect, right? Uh, and it's still safe, you know, it's not going too crazy. It's, still it's, step, it's stepping out of your comfort zone, but still by saying, by exactly. still playing it safe. Yes. Okay. If you want to go a bit more adventurous, you want a bit of colour, mm -hmm. you can have a, a lighter colour. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love Grey goes well with navy. So you've got a, a whole collection there for, for men out there. So guys, awesome. if you love hats, here you've got John Shevlin in his gorgeous shop in Coastland Studio and you can even talk to him and ask him exactly what you want, get advice, so you know, drop by. You're gonna have fun, I mean, I'm having loads of fun here, I love it. Just love so it, Jack. <laughs> Follow me, this is our last stop. <laughs> so even we're here to discover like a great, your great collections of handmade jewelry, what is the, your expertise exactly in the jewelry that you're making? 
Well, it is the fact that I'm using crochet in a way that it hasn't been used before. These are patterns that would have been used maybe in tablecloths okay. many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. They might have been used for collars on dresses. Okay. Um, and I've taken them away from that and reshaped them and beaded them to produce some very uh, special jewellery, uh, which has an Irish hint to it but uh, I like to say the phrase liberating tradition it's okay. taking pieces out of their traditional usage and reinventing them if you like for the modern woman of today Wow! see this crochet necklace here which is actually the piece for which I was presented the award of best new product of showcase in January okay um, which is uh, crafted from Mercerized cotton, crochet, and then it's dressed with freshwater pearls and gold-plated chain. These are new pieces that I'm actually working on. This is again another uh, bracelet, um, which is just using circles in a very different manner, just the interlinking circle, for instance. They are items that will last, you know. Uh, the handbags are knitted. And the great thing about what I'm doing here as well is I could be making that in one of 50 colors. Okay. Here we go guys, if you're looking for very special pieces of jewellery, Yvonne is the person for you. So what do you think about all those treasures that we found together? This is just a sample of what's happening in Dublin. I know you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, our treasure hunt stopped here. I'm going to tell you the truth. I have horrible feet. And I found this amazing website, datsaltos.com, that offers jewellery for your feet. Look at those beautiful pearls and colors. You can wear them anywhere, even in the sea, because they're waterproof. They are not just for summer, by the way. Wear them with a pair of stiletto or your favorite shoes and create your very much unique look. Karen, the designer, can customize it for you. Are you getting married on the beach this summer or attending a beach wedding? This is the perfect way to dress up your toes for the occasion. Those beautiful babies are available for adults and children on www.dazzletoes.com. We are spoiling you with loads of prizes today. Like us on our Facebook page and win the following. Competition 1. A year subscription to the Golf Digest magazine. Tell us why we should give it to you and let's see how many people like your answer. Competition 2. Bling up your feet with a beautiful pair of jewelry from Dazzle Toes. Answer the following question. Which famous designer said, the best color in the whole world is the one that looks good on you? A. Christian Dior. B. Coco Chanel. C. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Competition 3. Win a manicure treatment with Melt Relaxing Heaven of Wellness. Tell us what is a French manicure. The winners will be announced on August the 11th. <laughs>